Uh, well, you never forget it. That's how I remember it. It changes your life forever. You never forget the first time someone hits you like that. I just had the date wrong. And how, did, how is it that you think you got the date wrong? Objection calls for speculation. Overruled. Um, I'm embarrassed to say I think I would have liked to have believed that the period of time in which I had to fall in love with Johnny, in which we fell in love, and he was sober, and he wasn't violent to me, lasted for a lot longer than it did. I think I would have liked to have believed that I, I wasn't hit so early in the relationship and still stayed. He was also sober for a period in 2012, which was a peaceful time for us, in which we fell in love. So I had kind of allowed myself, I guess, uh, to forget that the beginning of that period, 2012, before he got sober, was, was really violent and chaotic as well. I, I, I'm embarrassed to say that. Now, you testified that the police were called multiple times. Other than the May 21, 2016, what other occasions were there where the police were called? They were called in December of 2011. They were called in 2012. Uh, they were called uh, in 2013 in March by the landlord. Um, they, I had sought advice from Laurel Anderson as to whether I should call the police. Objection, the hearsay. Sustain. Okay. When you filed the domestic violence temporary restraining order, how many acts of abuse did you allege at that time? Uh, I gave the last couple, I believe, uh, last two uh, incidents, maybe three. And why didn't you tell of all the acts of abuse at that time? I was following advice from my counsel. Okay. How many instances of abuse were included in the UK trial? Uh, there were 14 acts of physical abuse and violence and three acts of sexual abuse. Violence. And why were those 17 included in the UK trial? Uh, well, I was not a party, um, a direct party. I was a witness, so it was whatever their counsel, uh, the Sun Council chose. When is the first time you were called upon to provide a detailed accounting of as many times as you could recall of physical and sexual abuse by Mr. Depp? Objection hearsay. I don't, that's not hearsay, Your Honor. I'm asking her when she was called upon to do well, so. Well, the objection is hearsay. Right, but it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted, and it's just asking for date. All right, overrule. Thank you. Uh, a few months ago. February in 2022, this year, um, was the first time I was asked to, to do so, other than in cold in a deposition. Okay. And when you were asked to provide those, what did you do to be able to prepare that accounting, that full accounting? Well, I had the benefit of my therapist. Objection, now. hearsay. So, uh, uh, Your Honor, she's not saying what the therapist okay. said. I'm just asking. I'll overrule the objection. Thank you. Go, go ahead. I looked at my therapist notes. I had the benefit of those notes, which we had received in February, uh, as well as I reviewed calendars, photos, text messages, my journals, my diaries, um, of which there were many. I put all of those together. It took a lot of time um, to be able to, you know, adequately refresh my recollection and fill in the details uh, over the course of the five years we were together. And. What did you do when you put that all together? I, um, I kind of filled in uh, and, and collected all of these various pieces of information um, and gave a fuller account as best I could uh, for each uh, incidence of violence that I had record of. Um, I think it was called an interrogatory. In this case? In this case. All right. Excuse did me. Did you sign that under oath? I did. And it was provided to counsel for Mr. Depp? It was. Okay. Uh, and was it a pretty lengthy document? It was far too long. And how, how is it that you didn't just remember all of those events like this? That's, that's not how 
your memory or my memory works. You know, we were together for five years, almost four and a half. And uh, it was a very violent, chaotic, at times very loving, emotional uh, uh, relationship. So as, as anyone can imagine, there was a lot going on. And uh, unfortunately, the violence became almost normal, it, especially towards the end. It was just, it, it's, it's hard to even, it's hard to say that now, but the violence was almost normal. And, you know, your brain does with trauma what it does, puts it away best you can. So I was, I was, um, frankly, I was shocked to see um, a lot of the information presented to me um, through my therapist notes because she was taking them. Objection, in real time. Your Honor. Hearsay. All right, I'll sustain Sorry. her objection. Okay, we'll we'll move past the ther what the therapist said in her notes. Okay, now there's one more. You also provided a declaration in this case early on. Do you recall that trying to move the case to California? Yes, there was a declaration in 2019. All right, and did you describe some of the events of violence in that declaration? Objection leading. Uh, what, if anything, was said about violent acts in that declaration? I was taking the advice of my counsel. We had to, it was to get it moved, I believe. Okay, and, and was there, uh, did you include all of them? No. Objection leading. Uh, Thank and, you. No, I did not include all of the incidents of violence. That was not the point of making this declaration. I, we were making this declaration in effort to move it to California because as hard as it is to go through this sort of trial um, as it is, it's even harder to do so in a place that neither Johnny nor I are connected to. Now, you testified earlier uh, about guitars and you said you've never played a guitar. Uh, have you ever played a guitar player in a movie? You could say I posed with a guitar. I, uh, it turns out I am an unteachable. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to take you to the tape recordings. Why did you and Mr. Depp start taping each other? Well, at first it was, not at first, it was meant to be a, um, a way to get to the heart of our, some of our communication issues uh, in order to do, to, to discover in a therapeutic fashion kind of what was some of our issues in our communication. Okay. Now, we heard an audio tape earlier during this trial in which you said the word couch repeatedly. Can you please explain to the jury what that meant? Yes. Um, couch was a word that we had been uh, given that we decided upon, rather. Um, Objection hearsay. Just tell me what, tell us what Mr. Depp said about this. Uh, that it, it was a safe word. It was meant to be a safe word, like a word, uh, like truce, uh, where you put down the proverbial guns and you say, truce, we're not fighting anymore. Couch was supposed to be a word that you used, that we used as a truce. I don't want to fight anymore. You win. Let's, let's stop this. That was the mention of couch, which you heard earlier in a recording. Now, what, if any, discussions did you have with Mr. Depp about uh, threatening to divorce each other or threatening to leave? Objection calls for hearsay to I'm the extent it for, calls for misheard statements. I'm asking for discussions with Mr. Depp. Still her, Just tell us what Mr. Depp said. Don't tell us what you said. Can you repeat the question? I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So what did Mr. Depp say in your discussions about the use of the term threatening to divorce or threatening to leave each other. Objection leading. Overrule. Uh, well, Johnny would always say uh, the only way out of this was death. But in fights, in, in particularly heated ones, uh, we had found, you know, we were using divorce in the fight, um, in some of our heated fights. Uh, we tried not to, um, but that kind of deteriorated after the December f incident that I got beat up pretty badly in. And after that point, it was used a lot more often. Okay. Now, 
March 26, 2015. This is after the 